St. Louis Pandemic Task Force says it's an exciting development for our area. Earlier today, the FDA said the new Johnson & Johnson vaccine qualifies for emergency use authorization. News 4's Jenna Ray tells us what's next and what this means for our region. Right now, here in St. Louis, we have both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, both of which went through that emergency authorization process. Now, it's Johnson & Johnson's turn, and if approved, it could be here in a few weeks. I'd like to get it, yeah, if they would call me. 90-year-old Norma Johnston says she's been trying to get a vaccine for weeks now. Early Wednesday, News 4 learned the Johnson & Johnson vaccine met requirements for early use authorization by the FDA and is now on the path to approval. Is it Johnson & Johnson that has the one-time vaccine yes. coming in? That sounds great. I would vote for that. In addition to the J&J &J shot only requiring one dose, it's also been through trials right here at Wash U and St. Louis University. From that, we know the vaccine is about 70% effective in preventing severe cases of COVID-19. That's compared to the more than 90% efficacy of Pfizer and Moderna. At this point, we need them. It's a matter of life and death. Like we've had a half a million people die so far just in this country alone. So we need something. Wynette Scruggs says she needs to do more research, but as of now, she'd take any vaccine that's available to her. She, too, has tried for weeks to get a shot and says she wants to see vaccines more accessible to the public and that the J&J &J vaccine could help with that. We all need to be vaccinated. That way we won't spread it, especially to the kids, because I noticed that when I've done my research, the kids right now aren't unavailable to get the uh, vaccine, which I think everybody should get it no matter how old you are. Vaccine trials for younger kids are being done now. However, it's still in the early stages. We know an advisory committee is meeting Friday to make its recommendations. The vaccine could be approved then. I also reached out to the St. Louis County and Missouri Health Departments. Spokespeople for both of those departments tell me they're waiting on the federal government for guidance on distribution if the vaccine is approved. Reporting to you in St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4.